10 gifts for your wildly creative friends and family. I'm on to something a little peculiar. These are for uh, folks that enjoy exploring painting, especially watercolor. This is one of the favorite things that I bought for myself last year with my Christmas money. Yes, even older people like myself get Christmas money from people and we love it. <laughs> I bought myself a quill paintbrush. It reminds me of something out of Harry Potter, the way that it's made. Let me zoom that in. So it's got this like detailing down here and the barrel is a nice soft and very light uh, wood. It feels very, very um, airy in my hand. And I get a great deal of pleasure out of painting with this. And if you know folks that love to paint, they may or may not have invested in a brush of this kind because they're like, oh, I don't need that. I have this, I have that. It probably does the same thing. And they're probably right. But this is about gifting people with things that they wouldn't normally give to themselves. I have the size four quill brush from Princeton Neptune. Uh, that's just a maker. I love this one. Um, but quill brushes come from all different kinds of uh, brush makers. Let me show you how it works. My Princeton Neptunes, I'm getting some water on it here, and I'm going to let me show you. I've always got old paint palettes, and, or I shouldn't say old, uh, paint palettes that need cleaning. So I'm going to clean this one with the, the quill brush. And I'm going to paint over, these are my, this is the Neo Color Metallic uh, pencils, uh, pencil. Ooh, that's super cool. Okay. I gotta do that again. So these are the water resistant wax pastels. I'm going to get a different color. I'm sorry. It's gotta be off camera. I only have so much space and it just, I just love the way this paintbrush holds on to, um, to water. Look at that. It just goes and notice the tone of my voice. I'm even getting Zen doing it. And I honestly haven't done any water on my wax resistant pastels. And let me, let me zoom in for you so you can see what's going on. There we go. Focus. Look at it's beating up. So it's really interesting what's going on here. Let me get one more. I'm going to paint for you nice and close. Cleaning off this palette. Thank you so much for giving me a reason to clean this palette off with my quill brush, which like I said, makes me feel like I am in Harry Potter and I'm casting spells, and this is when we we're probably thinking, oh, Michelle, you are the wackiest, and let's just use my term here, wildly creative person, off on your own tangents. There you go. So, brief little display of how my quill paintbrush works. It holds water and it, may, it can hold it in a fine point, which you can't see here because I've made a huge mess. Let me see if I can get a little bit more paint and paint down here where I've still got some space left that you might be able to see. It can go really, and this is not watercolor paper, paper everyone, so it's going to do this weird bleeding effect. But I just think this paintbrush is incredibly fun to use. And I think any wildly creative person in your life, if they saw this, this holiday season or any season where you're giving them a gift, they'd be like, oh, that's so cool. I've been wondering how those things work. Thank you for thinking of me. Which honestly, isn't that why we give people presents? So they have a little bit of a joy and they're like, oh, thank you. I didn't know that anyone knew I wanted that. So there it is. Hope that helps.